in today's tutorial i'm going to show you a powerpoint slide which is based on a ufo theme you understand the ufo means uh, unidentified flying object as you can see here this is the night uh, the time you can see here this is i've created some uh, a dark uh, background with some stars and you can see there are some shadow effect of kind of a mountains and when i click you can see here that ufo comes and then it is sucking one person into the spacecraft and then you can add some detailed text so uh, i have created one more fun element with this for example i have created uh, uh, where uh, it is not uh, advisable or recommended for the children to eat some junk food for that theme i have created this slide so you can see here when i click the first ufo comes and then you know it says uh, it's about the pizza and then some detailed text and in the background some the stars are blinking then the second one comes and then it's talking about some donuts and then third comes it is talking about some burgers or some cold drinks so this way you can use uh, fun in the learning and uh, the similarly i've just made a different color something like this also you can choose it's up to you which color you like to use it so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size later on we can uh, resize it shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color and then align center align middle you can see here then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes uh, so i'm going to add one more oval shape not the rectangle sorry for that so hold the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, circle you can see here this one you just put it here let me just zoom in shape outline make it no outline maybe this much size and i'll put it exactly in the center and then i can just give some different color dark color then i'm going to just cut the this part go to insert shapes select one more oval shape draw the oval shape something like this you can see here let me right mouse click format shape fill make it more transparent so that you know how much you're going to retain it and how much you're going to delete it shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to keep this much part and let me just bring it more down so i'm just going to keep whatever which is highlighted that one and the one which is not highlighted i want to delete it so i can select this the circle the gray one then hold the shift key select the light blue circle and merge shape you can just say intersect the moment you say you end up getting this shape something like this you can see here now i'm going to add one more oval shape select the shape press ctrl d to duplicate this go to format and give some darker colors you can see here let me just zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to put it on the top of this gray and just increase the size a little bit from three directions. You can see here a little bit and then just send this to back. So you can see here you have got this one and then I'm going to add one more oval shape. So go to insert shape, select the oval shape again. So this is the, the lower part of the ufo you can see here i want to keep only this much let me just make it more transparent again shape outline no outline so only whatever the visible which is the below of the ufo i want to keep it and the one which is on the top i want to remove it again to remove it go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more oval shape or i can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and then you can see here I'm just going to increase the size. Let me just change the color so that you can understand it. So whatever which is visible here, so you can see here, this one also I want to increase the size further. Yes, you can see here. Let me just 
yeah so whatever which is here only which i'm going to keep it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select the blue oval shape hold the shift key select the red one again go to format merge shape you can if you say intersect only the top part will be there and bottom one will be deleted if i say subtract the bottom will be uh, bottom part will be there and the top will be removed so i don't want the top part so i'm just going to select subtract and increase the transparency level so you can see here some kind of uh, shape of the ufo we have created now we can add some uh, windows some top antennas and some other fancy stuff so let's select this shape and go to format say send to back you can see here let me just zoom in and then if i want i can just bring it somewhat down also maybe like this and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle on the top of this and shape outline make it no outline make sure that it is aligned center and go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key so you can get a perfect oval shape again this also aligns center shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select both of this and press ctrl g to group it and send this to back so this is the antenna i have added now go to insert shapes select the the oval shape small oval shape i'm going to draw by holding the shift key just put it here one then you can go to effects under 3d rotation i can go and select maybe this off axis too you can see here something like this and you can just change the color some other colors and shape outline make sure it's no outline and later on we can change this color also press ctrl d one more i'm going to add it here ctrl d i'm going to add one more here if you want you can add more also so with this i have completed the design of the ufo now you can just change the color according to your requirement so before you change the color of this ufo we need to change the background uh, you can just select the background and select the gradient fill and by default you have got two four stops i'm going to delete two the first stop i'm going to more colors and you can go for more darker colors you can see here like this or you can go here and select more darker colors whichever way either you can go from here or you can just simply go and select some darker colors from here also so let me just select maybe a dark purple here on the top and here also i'm just going to select somewhat uh, the same color but i'm going to more colors and from the customs i'm just going to reduce it the shade so you can see here something like this and then you can just select this part of the ufo and whichever color which you feel better for example i want to add maybe blue and the black one i want uh, some different colors maybe kind of a orange you can see here again uh, this color you can give some other color maybe a uh, red or a blue or whatever and this also you can give some different colors of your choice but make sure that it is visible uh, in the in the slide otherwise what happens here is it won't be visible then so uh, with this design you can see here i have made a different color and i'm going to select all these objects press ctrl g to group it you can see here and i can move it up let me just go to view remove the guides so you can see clearly now it's time to add the the light effect for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this trapezoid draw the trapezoid maybe this much size again put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and send this to back now with for this also i'm going to give the gradient fill select the gradient fill now here this part i'm going to make it white color and this part i'm going to select the background color you can see here and i can increase somewhat so this also you can increase the brightness also here something like this you can you see here more brightness 
then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape this much size shape outline make it no outline and make this white so you can see here the light effect is also completed it's time to add the text and the icons now if you want you can just go to insert icons and uh, you can add any icons of your choice you can see here you've got a lot of varieties here you can see here for example i want to take some where i want to use this for the children purpose and saying that junk food is not good for them so maybe i can just select this pizza or i can just use this burger or whatever and just click insert you can see here and i'm just going to place it here and then go to insert text box and i'm just going to add some detail text here make sure it is center align or up to your requirement make it white and then you can reduce the size also so you can see here with this we have completed uh, the design part now if you want you can just select all press ctrl d to duplicate and just add as many as you want maybe two three or four so i'm just going to show you only one and uh, let's do the animation part now so uh, i'm going to add the animation for this so make sure that it is properly grouped close the format shape go to the animations enable the animation pane and for this i'm going to use fly in you can see here fly in should come from top you can see here from top i'm saying then you can double click this you can increase the bounce and something like this go to the timings if you want make it fast medium or whatever and just say okay so it comes something like this and then i'm going to use this light effect for the light effect i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe again make it from top and this should happen after previous and make sure that it is very fast maybe i can just give 0 0.2 seconds so it comes very fast and after that this uh, the focus area should come so this also you can give a, a maybe a fade effect something like this and this should happen again after previous so if i play it comes something like this you see here and then this icon should come for that i'm going to more entrance effect stretch you can say stretch and i'm going to say from bottom so it comes like this this also have to have after previous and i'm using the same thing animation painter for this and this one should happen from top see something like this and both should happen together so i'm going to make it with previous so if i play now you can see here it comes something like this so as I said, if you want, you can make it two, three here. You can see here I've made it uh, three. Here only I've made it one. As if uh, it is sucking a person into the this uh, spacecraft or you can call it as a UFO. So different ways you can use this uh, particular infographics in terms of teaching to students or some other purposes you can use it. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.